Hi, my name is Tara. Welcome to Megan's Miracle Bee Venom Therapy Kit instructional video. We're here to guide you through the process of mixing your bee venom solution. So you can get started with your bee venom therapy and skin injections as soon as your kit arrives. If you have never handled an injection vial or syringe needles before, the process of mixing your bee venom solution for injections can seem a bit intimidating. But don't worry, it's super easy and anyone can do it. To get started, you will need to find a surface with enough space to work on. Clean your workspace with disinfecting surface spray and paper towel or a clean towel. While that dries, use antibacterial soap or Megan's Miracle Hand Soap to wash your hands. Dry with a clean towel or a paper towel. Then, grab your Bee Venom Therapy Kit from Megan's Miracle and open it up. Lay all of the materials out on your clean workspace. Before moving forward, make sure you have everything you need. Megan's Miracle Bee Venom Therapy Kits include one syringe with a white end cap, one syringe needle and cap, one purple or green syringe filter, one clear colored injection vial with a pop-off cap, one amber colored vial of bee venom powder, 10 alcohol swabs, and two pink packets of sterile saline. You'll also find a few care cards with QR codes for copies of the written instructions, bee venom therapy injection schedules, tips and tricks, bee venom benefits, and more. To move forward, open all the materials. Start by opening the syringe, syringe needle, and syringe filter. And remove the cap from the clear, empty injection vial. To do this, use your thumb to push up on the side of the cap until it pops off of the vial. Then, use an alcohol swab to clean the rubber and silver part of the lid on the injection vial. While that dries, prepare your syringe and syringe accessories for use. To do this, you'll need the purple or green syringe filter, the syringe needle, and the empty syringe. Begin by attaching the filter to the needle. The open end of the needle attachment fits over the smaller projection on the filter. Make sure the two pieces are securely fastened to prevent any leaks. To prevent any skin injuries, leave the cap on the needle for now and set this attachment aside. Next, grab your syringe and twist off the white end cap to allow airflow inside the syringe tube. Pull back on the plunger to remove it completely and put the white end cap back on the syringe. Now that these pieces are ready to use, it's time to make your bee venom solution. Begin by twisting the top off of both pink saline packs. Unscrew the top of the amber-colored vial with bee venom powder in it. Squeeze all of the saline from both packets into the venom vial. Put the cap back on the vial. Make sure the top is securely screwed back onto the vial to prevent any fluid from leaking out. Shake the venom vial vigorously for 30 seconds to mix the venom powder into the saline. Once the venom powder is completely dissolved, remove the lid from the vial. Carefully pour all of the venom solution into the syringe tube, which still has the white end cap on it. Then, insert the plunger back into the syringe tube. Make sure the rubber portion of the plunger is all the way inside the syringe tube, so you don't lose any venom solution. Then, go ahead and flip the syringe over, and remove the end cap so you can attach the remaining accessory pieces to the syringe. Grab the filter and needle attachment. Attach the filter to the end of the syringe. The open end of the filter fits securely over the projection on the syringe. Double check the needle is still securely fastened to the filter. Then carefully remove the cap from the needle. Insert the needle into the center of the rubber on the lid of the injection vial. Use the plunger to push the venom solution through the filter and into the injection vial. As you continue injecting the venom solution, you may notice it gets a bit harder to push the solution through the filter as you approach the bottom. This is completely normal and no reason to worry. If it gets too difficult to inject the remaining venom solution, just pull up on the needle until so it's no longer submerged in solution. Once you are finished, pull the needle out of the vial. Do not worry about the vial having a cap, it will seal itself shut. Injection vials are self-sealing. Be sure to dispose of the syringe needle in a sharps container. Do not attempt to recap the needle before disposing of the syringe to prevent any unnecessary pricks or injuries to the skin. 
If you do not have a Sharps container, you can buy one at most local pharmacies. Or you can make one using an empty plastic jug and a permanent marker like the one shown behind me here. Finish up by disposing of any remaining material pieces and used packaging in the garbage. And that's it. You did it. Your bee venom solution is ready for use. You can begin your bee venom injections as soon as you are ready. Be sure to store your bee venom solution in the fridge when not in use to preserve the quality of the venom. Also, don't forget bee venom, once mixed in an aqueous solution, has an expiration date. Once mixed with saline, the quality of the bee venom begins to decrease after 60 days. So be sure to get started with your injections right away. To wrap up our video, I just want to remind you that we are ecstatic to have you with us at Megan's Miracle. We look forward to learning about your experience with our bee venom therapy kit and watching you blossom as you continue your healing journey. Please don't hesitate to reach out. If you have any questions or concerns, our team at Megan's Miracle is happy to help. Thanks for watching.